pregnancy, birth, and womb health related. So if you like the content and you love to hear what's on the channel, please be sure to subscribe. So um, for all of my um, subscribers already, I know I haven't um, put up a video in a little bit. Um, so as we all should, I took a little time to recalibrate, um, to do some fasting, some cleansing, both physically and mentally. Um, so that's pretty much the reason why I haven't been like super active on the channel but we're back now we're talking about more topics um i'm so grateful that i mean i've i'm still been receiving new questions and new uh subscribers and just the interaction i really really do appreciate um all of the support and the love so i'm going to continue to give my support back to you continue to give my love back to you um providing you with these um important topics and just my views and my opinions if it resonates take it if it doesn't leave it um so today i have had a, quite a few people ask me about um when to start feeding your infants um and when's a good time to incorporate food so i am a firm believer of the uh term food before one is just for fun um i truly believe and it is um backed by science that your baby can thrive, survive, and have all of their needs met with just breast milk for the first year of their lives. They do not need a bunch of um, foods and they don't need a bunch of sugar. They don't need a bunch of any of that stuff. A lot of people, I've seen so many people start um not solids, but purees and stuff like that. Three months, four months, five months. This is really um, counterproductive for your baby's digestive system. Um, their stomachs and their digest digestive tract um, is not ready at three, four, five months. Um, six months would be ideal, um, according to the CDC, according to um, you know a lot of the uh, lactation consultants that I talked to according to just the World Health Organization um, but six months is where you would technically start solids or pureed foods and even then I encourage you to make the foods yourselves a lot of the foods that's on the shelves have um, are high in preservatives have a lot of sodium or if not sodium has um, metals or different kind of chemicals or substances in it that is not really good for the baby. So if you can, um, I know it's a lot, I know it's tedious, but I would recommend um, cooking the foods yourself um, and mashing them and then giving your baby the food. So um, back to the time frame. So me personally, I'm always going to advocate for food being given later as late as possible if your baby babies are, are going to show interest in whatever they pick up people will say well my baby's grabbing for my food or my baby's chewing on things well that's because their babies and their motor skills and their brain development and everything is happening so whatever they see they may pick up a toy and uh, chew it they may pick up a sock or whatever the case may be it's not the food it's really just their way of trying to figure out the world um a lot of times when we're seeing formula fed babies we're seeing hi wait wait come here don't how are you wait a minute wait mommy's on camera say hi say hi to everybody hi to everybody <laughs> okay wait wait so all right well many of you know i do still feed my three-year-old Tyler. She just turned three. Um, she's a good solid 32 or so pounds um, and she is still nursed. Um, she also eats food um, three times a day. She gets two snacks um, and she did not eat 
food till she was one a little bit over one actually about 11 months and she is healthy as you can see she's a good solid kid um and she's thriving she's happy right you happy <laughs> so yeah um my boo -boo? okay so um she still nurses obviously and um i had i didn't give her any food until she was 11 months old um, she stayed great on her weight. She got all the minerals and everything that she needed. I was eating really well. I was hydrating really well. But for the people who have asked the question, like, when do I, you know, incorporate food X, Y, and Z? Um, you can wait until they're, they are one. If you feel like they are, um, low in birth weight, I mean, not birth weight, but low in weight. And, um, I don't want to say malnutrition because I don't believe that unless you are malnutrition when you are like in your health and your body if you are not eating well you're not getting enough um then i don't think that your baby is going to be malnutrition every baby grows differently uh, my babies are bigger they they are born big so um i expect that my babies grow fast i mean their dad is like six four i'm five seven um and a lot of my family uh we have a we have a pretty good thicker structure so I expect my children to be pretty hefty but everybody's babies grow differently if your baby is um growing a little smaller or thinner it may just be genetics it's not always you're you're, you're not producing enough milk but if you are hydrating you're eating well you're getting enough calories your baby will thrive especially if they have a great latch it is going to be perfectly fine um so I say wait as long as possible because it gives your child digestive system time to really mature and then that way they are able to start like when you start to incorporate foods hold on hold on all right you want the other one um when you start to incorporate foods then they're better able to um start to process those foods digest those foods communicate their gut health can communicate the bacteria can communicate with those foods and then they're able to break it down and send it through the, you know, the intestines and through the colon without issues, without cramps, without um, gas, without all of those different things, especially depending on the type of foods that you're feeding them. But like jar food and canned foods and things like that, I don't recommend, um, unless you're obviously jarring yourself. But other than that, I think that, you know, fresh whole foods is great, but you can wait. Your baby doesn't need any food until they are one years old. If you want to start, I really encourage six months and beyond, um, even closer to eight months, because, you know, it has been shown that the digestive system is really not ready. Um, and this information can be found on the internet or wherever um, um, in certain um, courses, breastfeeding courses, different things like that that we take. We do find that the longer we're waiting, the better um, our children are able to process um, the foods that we're giving them. Um, and I would say start with um, veg start with non-sweet, not vegetables, because things like cucumbers and anything that grows on a vine with seeds is a fruit. So we think things like cucumbers and tomatoes and stuff like that are vegetables, but they're actually fruits. Uh, but start with things that are not sweet so that they get the palate to eat those foods that um, don't give them that sugar craving. Fruit should be later. Um, grain should be after fruit. So I say go non-sweet fruit, um, grains, things like that. If you're a person who's going to eat meat, I say go last with that. Uh, we're plant-based here in this community. Um, but I do understand that everybody's lifestyle and everybody's eating habits are different. So if you're going to incorporate um different types of meat, I would say do that last. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my take on when to incorporate foods and how to incorporate. But uh, once they start, they really don't get teeth until they start chewing. Um, my daughter, she didn't get teeth until she was about, I'm gonna say her first real set of teeth was about eight months. And that was because she never ate food. Once she started eating food, she has a mouthful of teeth now. But once she started eating and chewing and gnawing on things, then she really got those teeth. But 
she was never teething at three months or four months or probably didn't go through any of that um stuff we never went through fevers anything like that her teeth just came in and she started to eat the foods that we provided for her um so yeah that's pretty much my take on how to feed the baby how to incorporate foods when to incorporate the foods um if you have any um suggestions or any like things to make it easier because i know i've seen like machines that actually puree the food for you like baby foods and stuff like that so if you have any tips that someone else can benefit from please do drop them in the comments if you have any additional questions you can always reach out to us at birthyhoover at gmail.com um, we have changed the email it is b-e-a-r-t-h dot uhura u-h-u-r-a at gmail.com um, and you can always reach with me on my other platforms as far as instagram facebook um and yeah so thank you so much um for tuning in with us and i will see you guys for the next video peace and pregnancy done <laughs>